be out here in the snow about to tell his story. Um, never edition of Quipping Cap podcast. We're gonna tell the story of us going up to Philly, the four season story. So we just told the um we just did a review on it. The last episode we did was a review on the four seasons uh in Philly. This one is the actual podcast story of it. So you want me to uh start? What should I start, huh? Well, yeah, you should start. You the one who uh planned it. Somebody's saying hi. What's up? Somebody. You can't see who it is? I can't. I can't see. <laughs> All hi. Right. Thank y'all for tuning in. Alright, so basically, um all right, so talking about getting straight to it, talking about the four seasons um trip. We went this was back in twenty twenty one. So in around Thanksgiving, we went to um Pittsburgh. I'm from Pennsylvania. I'm from a town right outside Pittsburgh. And so, you know, I was just like let's Let's go out there for a trip. So we went out there, and one of the things that I wanted to do while we were out there was go to the pool. But we really didn't get a chance to, because we were running around, and, you know, we went out to Aliquippa. We went to go see all these things in Pittsburgh that he wanted to see. So he kept saying, man, you were so... You were so cool about us not doing the one thing that you kept saying that you want to do. So, you know... I just appreciated that so much because I kind of feel like I took over the trip. So I kind of planned a surprise for you. Now, I'm not good with surprises. I like to know stuff. I like to know stuff. So when he told me that, I kept harassing him like, all right, so what's, what's the surprise? Like, what's going on? Like, what is it? What are you about to surprise me with? And he was just like, I'm going to take you somewhere since you didn't, since we didn't go swimming. Because we were in Pittsburgh from Friday to Sunday. Yeah, Friday to Sunday. That's what I'm about, right? We were there Friday to That's Sunday. Right. Um, and we just never got a chance to go to the pool. So, And I wasn't complaining because, I mean, like, I like to go to the pool. But it wasn't that big of a deal. The pool wasn't that great. We say that at the Embassy Suites. The pool wasn't that great. So I wasn't really too bothered by it. But I like to go to the pool um, when we, you know, go on any type of vacation. So he was just like, yeah, because you handled it so well, you wasn't fussing or complaining and da 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 I wanted to do this for you. So I didn't know what it was. Honestly, I thought he was taking me to a water park. That's not what it turned out to be, but that's what I thought it was because he, you know, like, if I, if I like going swimming and everything like that and you trying to surprise me with a swim trip, in my mind, I'm like, oh, yeah, we must be going to an indoor water park. But that's not what it was. Okay, so now you can finish. Okay. So, um, I planned this trip. I didn't, you know, like she said, I didn't tell her what the trip was. Um, I planned it for Christmas. So, she trying to guess leading up to this trip. She trying to guess where it is. You know how some people are. If you tell them you got a surprise for them, they want to know what it is. They ask questions. Some people can be cool about it. And chill. Some people want to know. So she asking questions leading up to it. But I don't really want to know. I just I just I just want to pressure him into telling me. But I don't want him to break. Right. So that's what it ended up being. I had booked a uh a hotel stay up at the four seasons in Philly. And the reason I picked that that hotel was because I saw their pool. On Instagram, like you know, when you go into the explore section, and uh, you know, the explore section got all this luxurious, these luxuri- luxurious locations, and islands, and homes, and cars, and hotels, and stuff. So, one of the things on the explore page I happened to see was uh, this pool, it was like an infinity pool in a hotel, and the infinity pool was like on a real high floor of the hotel. And it was kind of always on my mind. I actually saw this uh, hotel, and that hotel always been on my mind, even before I met her. So I kind of was aware that it existed. So um, when I wanted to do something for her because of how well she handled the Pittsburgh trip and her wanting to go to the pool, at, you know, when we went to the hotel in Pittsburgh, she wanted to go to the pool. But we didn't end up going to the pool. 
because we was doing everything I wanted to do, and she ain't never complained about it once. I was like, I'm gonna find her a pool. For Christmas, I'm gonna book a nice hotel with a pool. So that's why I booked it. So all she knew was that we was going out of town. She ain't know where, she ain't know what we was gonna do, but I did tell her, I had to tell you that it, a pool was involved, so you yeah, can bring. Yeah, it was like pack a bathing suit. Yeah, so you so. can bring a bathing suit. You know what I'm saying? So I had to give her that much information. So, the day comes around. Fast forward to the actual day of Christmas. So that day, did my mom come over for some yeah, reason? Yeah, I remember because, my mom being in my house. Yeah, your mom and Mike came over because um, that's when you was having issues with your um, shower. Okay, I was having some type of home issues, and my mom's husband. He's a Mr. Fix-It dude, so he came over to, I think my shower was, like she said, my shower was messed up or something. I was having some type of issues with my shower, so my mom came over early in the morning, because um, we was up like at what, five in the morning, six yeah, in the morning? Yeah, we woke up early because I wanted him to open up his gifts. Yeah, she wanted me to open my Christmas gift. And he kept trying to control the situation. And but I ain't, want, I ain't want us to open the Christmas gifts till we got to where we was going to go. And I wanted him to tell me where we were going. Yeah, so we was up early in the morning on Christmas Day, 2021. Drinking, drinking and playing video games. Yeah, yeah. So Then we went to the Lyle to get some breakfast while we was waiting for his um, mom to come over. So oh, so we went a, before they came? Yeah, because they got to the house while we were still gone. Okay, yeah, so we went to the Lyle. It's a hotel called the Lyle. It was the Carlisle. It's on New Hampshire Avenue, uh, uptown on the... 1700 block of New Hampshire Avenue, uh, uptown. We walk, we walked there because I, I live with in walking distance. Not super duper close, but it was like a 20 minute walk. Yeah, we, we walked there and we got some breakfast and it was really nice. It was really pretty. That was my first time ever going there. Yeah. I didn't know what it looked like on the. I mean, on the outside, it didn't really look like it was as nice as it was on the inside. So that's a. It was a really nice hotel. The breakfast was good. Right. I don't really remember the breakfast. But we're just going to go I remember I had like a waffle and it looked burnt. I had something that looked burnt, but it was good. It tastes better than it looked. I, I, I just remember in, in my mind, they didn't have pancakes. So. Yeah, but that's a, that's a nice, it looked real nice in it. It's really nice. It's really nice on the inside. It looked better on the inside than it do on the outside. And it was Christmas morning. I think it was maybe like one other black couple. Well, it was only one other couple in there and they just so happened to be black. Um, and then maybe like a old white person that might have lived in an apartment. Right. Was it a hotel? Or it was a, it's a hotel. Oh, it might have been like one what, the other. Lyle, the Carlisle? Yeah, so it might have been like, a, and it was an older white person who might have lived in the area or was probably staying at the hotel that came down to eat as well. But it was really nice. Yeah, but it was early in the morning, probably about 8 in the morning, 7, yeah. 8. I think we started walking like at 7 in the morning to the joint. It probably was like oh. 8 o'clock in the morning when we got there. It was real early. It was early. So we went, ate breakfast, came back to my house, walked back to my house. And it was nice this day. It was Christmas, but the weather wasn't bad. Yeah, it wasn't super cold at all. It probably was like in the 50s. Probably low 50s. I don't know. I just know it wasn't super cold. It was a nice day. It was. It was a nice day. The weather was really nice. It wasn't snowing. It wasn't no shit or, like this. I know that. Or super cold or no rainy like or anything crazy. Nowhere near this shit And right then when here. we got back to the house... Um, after we ate and we got back to the house, um, we had to hang around because his parents was there taking a look at the bathroom and everything. And then once we finished with that, we hopped on the road. And this was my first Christmas without my kids because, um, they were staying with their dad for Christmas. So that was my first time. And so I was actually a little worried that I wasn't going to be, you know, happy. And it just wasn't going to be a good Christmas. I, I really was under the, you know, assumption that my Christmas day was going to be a little shitty. Um, but I was trying to be a good sport about it, you know, because I like I like pools. I thought we was going to a water park. So I was actually a little bit excited about that. Um, and even though I don't like surprises, I was excited about the surprise. So when we got back to the house and um after they got everything settled with the bathroom we ended up packing up the car and getting on the road and i remember when we was on the highway i kept thinking like at one point i thought we might have been going to new york tell me what time we left i don't know what time it was that we left about noon 12 Cause we, yeah because we had to be up there about three the check-in was three so. yeah 
I don't know, man. It felt like it took us a long time to get up there. He was driving. Usually, I do all the driving when it's a long distance, especially. I'm the mainly the driver, but I ain't know where to go, and he ain't want to tell me, because I almost definitely offered. I said, oh, yeah, I'll drive if you, um, you got to give me the address so I can put it in my phone, but he was just like, nah, I got it, and then it was like this rare situation where he put on music on his playlist, and it was all the good songs. They, it's playing Raheem Devon, John Legend. I ain't have to listen to no... What's that guy's name with the weird head? Uh, Moneybag. Class Murder. Uh, His class, name is Class Murder. Class Murder. I ain't have to listen to no Moneybag, yo. I ain't have to listen to none of that. So it was real cool. And um, we're riding up there. He taking all types of detours. We stopped and picked up some onions, pretzels. He's drunk pulling over on the side of the road to take pictures of like historical signs and cars driving past and he not closing the door but we had a good time we, we bought some scratch offs at the um what was it a 7-eleven it don't matter it might have been a wawa or something oh nothing it might have been a 7-eleven yeah it don't matter but we you know we was just like just having fun just like just regular road trip stuff picked up some strawberry lemonade because i'm not taking no alcohol straight so um we was just having a good time and i just remember when we got up to philly in my mind because there's a indoor water park in philly i specifically told him about about it i was like yeah well you know if you're trying to do something for me there's this indoor water park that's in philly we can go to that so once we got up there i said oh shit he taking me to this indoor water park man i hope it ain't a whole bunch of kids there i ain't trying to be swimming in no pissy water um, but we, so we got up there now in my mind, I'm thinking to myself, we probably going to be staying at a regular hotel, maybe like a Hilton or something, nothing special. Because when we were staying at that embassy suites, I remember him just being like, oh man, this is a nice hotel. This is probably one of the nicest hotels I ever stayed in. <laughs> and I remember looking at him with my eyebrow raised all the way up to my hairline. Like this is the nicest hotel you ever stayed at. Cause this hotel room was kind of regular. This is a regular hotel. Like, it ain't nothing special about this hotel room. And he was like, man, this is one of the nicest. So I really started questioning, you know, um, I really started questioning his taste on hotel rooms. So I really just didn't think that we were going to be staying anywhere, like, special. I just thought, you know, we'll be in a decent hotel. It wasn't going to be, like, no motel. Excuse me. And we were going to um, a water park. So we driving all through the city and then finally we turned down the street and the Four Seasons is right there on the left hand side. I peeped it. As soon as we turned on the street, I saw the sign for the Four Seasons. But at no point in time did it cross my mind that we were going to be turning into the Four Seasons. So when he turned into the Four Seasons like little valet area, I said, this is a nice hotel. Like surprise because I wasn't expecting for us to be staying at a nice hotel like this so that was that was the first surprise and then two if I would have known I would have dressed better because I had on these damn yellow plaid leggings with a black sweater and just some little black like little combat boots I was just being comfortable <laughs> I was not dressed to be walking through the damn four seasons so I was a little upset. That's why I kept saying how the girl at the front desk was probably giving us attitude and acting like we poor because I was looking a little like I was poor. Looking crazy. I was looking crazy. <laughs> but um, it was nice. When we pulled up and we got out and, you know, the guy who was handling us, the valet, he was like, oh, you know, are y'all staying with us? And he was like, yeah. And Wes was like, yeah, we brought her. I brought her up here for the pool. He said, oh, man. The pool is great. The pool is great. For Mother's Day, I booked my mom a room so she no, can he, come here he, and I stay at the pool. I ain't telling my boy. He asked you, did you know about the pool? Oh, he did. Okay. Yeah, well, he, I, ain't, I, ain't, okay. I ain't say nothing about it because I wasn't even going to mention the pool. So he said, he do like, I know about the pool? He said, you know about the pool? And you and like, nah. said, no. He was like, oh. Then he stopped. He was like, oh. But then he was like, oh, okay, you'll see. 
He was like, yeah, but it's then, great. But he was talking about the hotel, period. Yeah, well, when no. he talking about his He mom. was saying the hotel. He said the pool. Oh. Okay. He said that he booked he booked his mom a room in this hotel for Mother's Day um, because of the pool. Oh, okay. okay. Maybe the spa services, too. But he specifically said the pool because a part of me was like, is this pool like an indoor water park? <laughs> like, I was, I was stuck on this whole water park stuff. But it was... Um, the pool was nice though. So then when we get inside the hotel, it was gorgeous. We walk in, they have like a little security desk. Um, right when you first walk in, there's a code. Um, they have like the little security desk when you first walk in, and they had like all the Christmas decorations and everything. The little split open tree, which we did post pictures of. If you take a look at um the review if you look at the review video you'll see like all the pictures and everything from our trip or if you just look at wes's uh ig or if you follow me i also have it on my ig but i think he probably got more pictures than i do on his but um <clears throat> i mean we did uh we did they can watch the youtube that's what i said oh, they can okay. watch the youtube the okay. review because okay. we got a lot of photos posted on the review as well right um however you know, we got in, and then I remember when we uh, walked around and stepped on that elevator to go up, that thing scared the shit out of me. It was like a, a ride. We stepped in, and it just shot up. I was like, oh, shit. Like, my stomach dropped. But it was nice, though. We sitting there, we ride, and then we just see us, you know, like, just going, shooting up and passing all the buildings, and then we go over the roof of the buildings, and then we just, it was almost like the Willow, Willy Wonka, the original one. When they go inside that elevator and then it shoots out the building, that's how, that's kind of what it had me feeling like when we were in it. Right, right, right. You can go ahead now. Okay, so we um okay. Well, first of all, because that's your perspective, so I gotta tell it from my perspective a little bit, just a little bit. So her thinking, her trying to guess leading up to us going to Philly for this four season. She ain't know what it was exactly. She ain't know where we was going. It was a surprise. She narrowed it down to a water park. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious because I'm sitting there thinking, I ain't about to take you to no motherfucking water park. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To no fun. <laughs> like, I got kids, so. so. But the thing was, was that she was cool with it. I wasn't necessarily sure if she was seriously cool with it or she was just being nice. <laughs> knowing, the way, knowing the way I know now, she ain't just going to be nice just to be nice. If she cool with something, she's really cool with it. If she ain't, she's going to let you know. So, she was, I thought it was funny that leading up, she's like, okay, we're going to a water park. I'm like, what are we, 12? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, we ain't going to no damn water park. I ain't say that because it was a, it's a surprise. But she ain't know what that, she ain't know we was going north, south. She was like, are we going up north to New York? Are we going south to, you picking like some crazy Tennessee, West Virginia, all type of shit. So, she riding blindly. Of the Philly. She just in the car riding. Total surprise. All in all, she told the rest of the story. We left like at noon. We got up there. We I had to kill time once we got up there a little bit. So we made a few stops, like she said. Mm -hmm. Made a few stops. You know what I'm saying? We did at a gas station. And and we tried to go to a Walmart. Was it open? It was closed, right? It was Christmas. So it might have been closed. Yeah, I think it was closed. I needed... What did I need? Like some chapstick or something? Something. I don't I know. I needed something. Something. But... We we killed time, took some back streets. I'm taking pictures of historical signs, like she said. So we get up there. Um, everything happened. Go in. We get on the elevator. The elevator was great. Um, 60 floors. Tall building. Tallest building in Philly. Four Seasons is in the tallest building in Philly. So all I know, I just know about this pool. Everything else is an experience. We both sharing the experience. The only thing I knew about this hotel was the pool. That the pool was amazing. And when I saw it on an Explore Instagram page, that I had to go there one day. I'm like, man, one day I'll go. Da, da, da. So, you know, I picked to take her for, you know, for a Christmas gift, a, a surprise. And for her being so, you know, cool and gracious from, that, from how the Pittsburgh trip went down. We go up the elevator. We get off. Um, when we get off the elevator... They got all these Christmas decorations everywhere. Look real nice. You know what I'm saying? They got this, what you call it, symmetrical polar bear. Oh, the geographical. Geographical polar bear, like a real tall pole. That joint probably like 15 feet tall. 
up in the air. It was, um, it was shiny, was like metallic. They had these metallic Christmas uh, Christmas bulbs all over the place. A big, tall Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. um, but another thing they had was a whole bunch of black people staying up in there. Yeah. And that was something that I just wasn't expecting. Um, I just remember, and like, and they were like ghetto black people too. Like, you know, just not ghetto. No, they they were like regular old black folks. They ain't look like no black people that had necessarily money or anything like that. They walk around in sweatsuits. Some of the girls got bonnets on. You know what I'm saying? They, people like just walking back and forth and everything. I said, oh, wow. I said, it's a whole bunch of black people up in here. Come to find out. It's because of the basketball player, Maxi. His house had recently burned down. I'm jumping ahead. Yeah, you're jumping ahead. <laughs> but his house had burned down. <laughs> and um, his family was staying there. He actually had a game down in D.C. We ran into his dad on the elevator. And so he was telling us all the business. Um, and he was, also, he was also pretty nice. Yeah, he was cool. That was our first time running into his family we had we ran we ran into maxi but we never actually spoke with him but we ran into his family on two or would you say three does it count the first one we were stepping off two. the elevator two. two okay so we ran into his family twice and we only said we saw maxi it like live in person once but we was literally just passing by we was walking past um the elevator that's when we were in vegas in vegas yeah but when we um went to check in you know it was just a whole bunch of people i was just like oh goodness especially since i remember before we checked in west kept saying how he's trying to get us a reservation at a restaurant but they're not 100 percent sure if it's going to be open it depends on how many people what was it how many reservations they get oh uh, no it wasn't no they was going to be open um the I think they gonna be open. Yeah, I think they, they was going to be open. They just didn't have a, a menu made yet or something like that. That's, so what you was telling me was a lie? What? That, oh, they don't know if they're going like to. Yeah. They, yeah, that was a lie. We can't make no reservations yet because they're not sure if it's going to be open. Yeah, that was a lie because I was trying to throw you off. I didn't want you to have no idea where we was going. That I was knew they were going to be I open. I thought that was a part of the damn truth. No. Nah, All right, nah, so anyways. <laughs> I didn't want you to have any tip that, <laughs> that we went to a hotel or. Well, um, so we get checked in and we go upstairs. And the first thing that we see is that they have, like, all these um, stockings on all the doors. Filled up with, like, a bunch of little goodies and stuff, which I thought was real nice. I don't eat chocolate. Um, so, Wes mainly got to enjoy the stuff that was inside the stocking. But I kept the stocking. I get to enjoy the stocking. He got to enjoy everything that was in it. And when we went into our room, the room was beautiful, which is what we uh, already kind of spoke about in the review. However, you know, like as soon as we got into the room and we got our cheesecake stored away, I was like, all right, let's open up these gifts because I was pressed to open up the gifts. I wanted him to see what I got him because I like, I like giving gifts, you know, and I feel like I really kind of thought about what it is that he's into and I really tried to personalize what I got him for Christmas. So I was really excited about him opening up what I had gotten him. For Christmas, talk about what you got for Christmas. Um, I got. Uh, oh, I well, got this. Talk about how you felt when we started pulling out all the Christmas stuff. I guess first um, or whatever. Uh, I mean, he was tired because I've been harassing him about opening up the gifts. Probably. Yeah, she's the type of person that she 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 type of person that uh be cool with opening up Christmas gifts a week before Christmas. Mm -hmm. As soon as she get them, she ready to open these joints up. Yeah. yeah. She don't care about the actual day. Nope. You know what I'm saying? She wanted us to get these things off. She'd be real anxious. But um, I was happy with my gifts as far as but opening them. I mean, I'm patient. I'm you know I'm not really a big gift person, especially a person that receives gifts. I'm not super duper duper. You know, I like to give give gifts more than receive them. But I love good gifts. But um, so I was cool with it. I was cool with opening the gifts because it was Christmas Day. And, you know, I wanted us to open it there at the hotel. We had already and waited like nine hours. First, I was trying to get him to open up at least one of his gifts the night before. He's like, no, no, I don't want to open up my gift early. Yeah, so 
I mean, I got, I ended up getting like this barrel. If you go to my Instagram page, you know, I posted a lot with new, new alcohols. I guess it's like a barrel because she know I like whiskey. Whiskey is my favorite alcohol drink. So I had, she, she got me this whiskey barrel. It's like a little barrel and it had my name on it and stuff. Definitely one of the best gifts I ever got. I thought it was real cool and thoughtful. Um, some I had to treat and I'll be able to make my own whiskey and stuff like that. But it was real, real cool. Um, I got a, oh, I got this, you got me this, what you call it? That decanter. Decanter, a decanter, yeah. Tell them the story about the decanter. Yeah, the decanter, uh, she got me the, de <laughs> the, the decanter, right? And you pour, you know, you pour alcohol in that as well. When tell you get alcohol. Tell the story about the decanter. I'm trying to. Oh, okay. I'm trying to tell them. So, um, I end up breaking the joint because it's, you know, it's glass. So, I end up somehow taking it out of the box and it slipped out of my hand. Right, no. Or something. You was in the shower. I got in the shower because of the long ride. I got in the shower before we started on with our day. And I'm in the shower, and all I hear is, I hear like a, a bang and nothing else. And I'm like, what happened? And he like, nothing. <laughs> nothing. And I'm like, oh, hell, something happened. So why he's sitting here saying nothing? So I hurry up. I get out the shower. I finish up in the shower. I get out. I'm looking around. I'm like, why it sound like something broke? What happened? He's like, nah, everything is fine. Just don't come over here. Don't come over here. And I'm like, well, why can't I come over there? What's going on? He done broke the decanter because we had these floor to ceiling windows. He's standing on the ledge of the window. What were you doing? I Trying to look like you were falling? I don't remember what I was doing. I don't know. I probably was drunk. He, I don't remember you what were, I was doing. well, you were, but he's standing on the ledge. I don't know what he was doing. But somehow, some way, he dropped. Somehow, some way, he ended up dropping the decanter onto their glass table. Mm -hmm. He cracked their glass table like a little bit and completely shattered the decanter yeah the, the, the yeah the, the decanter broke their table kind of shattered a little bit but we was hoping that they wouldn't notice and try to charge us for this shit we never got charged for it i never got charged for it so i don't think they, they never noticed it it was like a small little crack it wasn't small but it was a crack yeah um so he ended up having to get his decanter replaced later on but he was able to enjoy it for a little while. Right. He was able to enjoy it for like a little while. Okay, then let's talk about what you got. Yeah, I got that. Uh, what, uh, what else I get? You got your Burberry wallet. I got, I got, you should, okay. And you got, I got the Burberry wallet. And you got your. Um, I thought I had it on me. I can't even show y'all. And it's you in got the house. that Marc Jacobs um, cologne. Cologne, okay. Yeah, Burberry wallet and a Marc Jacobs cologne. That's yeah. what I got. I, I got because we did something. We went. To a Four Seasons for Valentine's Day, and she bought me some stuff, so I kind of got the days mixed up. Yeah, that was just with what I got there and what I got at the Philly Four Seasons. I kind of forgot oh. what you know where I got. The only reason why I remember is because you posted it on a review, so you know. Oh, in a, in a video. Yeah, so you see the video of everything you got all on the table. Oh, okay. And then I had two big boxes, so I didn't know what he got me. <clears throat> Excuse me. We had an argument about how girls will tell a guy or anybody really, but you know, we had an argument about this, about how the female in a relationship will tell their significant other what it is that they want, what it is that they like, right? And I was just kind of like, I'm not an ungrateful receiver, but I'm kind of picky about what it is that I like. So let me tell you what I like. And then you can kind of choose what you get me based off of that. He um, says that he don't work off of that. He just get, he, he going to get me whatever he want me to have. I mean, so, yeah, definitely basic, based off of... Yeah, based off of a, like, a, especially if it's a random gift. Because mm -hmm. I might want something, I might want her to wear something that I might want to see her in. She ain't with that. No, She's like, no. don't give me nothing I don't like. Listen, if you give me something I don't like, I'm not going to sit here and twist my face up at it and be like, I don't like this. He has not gotten me anything that I don't like. And that's the truth. You haven't gotten me anything that I don't like. I don't like. think you like them flip-flops. 
I, I the do. Slides. I do. I wear them. I don't think you really like them, though. You want to know what it is? And I told you this before. They're a little bit tight across my toes, so I can't just easily slide my feet into them like I normally would. That's the only thing. But I wear them. But anyways, but I did show you the, the ones that I actually wanted before you got me those pink ones. You sure? Yeah, they were white. I don't know. I don't but anyways, but anyways, so you know, so coming up on Christmas... We was going places. Every time we went somewhere that had something I like, I kind of pointed out. So one of the things that I kept pointing out was some Uggs. And then I was specifically saying, yeah, I like those tall ones with the bows on the back. The tall ones, you know. And then, like, we'll be walking through the store, and I'm like, yeah, those are real cute. But, man, only if they had them tall. I like the highest ones that you could possibly get. Mm -hmm. So he got me these Burberry boots that are really cute. And he also got me um, some Uggs, the tan ones. I wanted the black ones, but the tan ones were good, too. Um, I was very excited. If you look at the review, you can see in the photo that I got those tan Uggs on my feet. Because as soon as he gave them to me, in my mind, I immediately was just like, I don't care what shoes I brought. These my shoes now. And I wore the hell out of them things. I still be wearing them. But, um... After we opened up our gifts, we went and hopped into the pool, and it was gorgeous. I really didn't know what to expect. I didn't hear anything about that um, Philly Four Seasons. I'm not a big social media person, so I never saw, like, the little explore clips or anything like that that uh, Wes said that he saw. So, excuse me, when I saw it, I was excited. I feel like that might have been my first time ever actually seeing an infinity pool in real life. I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like that was my first time. If it wasn't my first time, that was most definitely my first time being in the midst of an infinity pool in that type of environment where it was like just some beautiful um, backdrop with it. Right. Because we were up in the sky, literally 57 floors in the air. It was beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. That's Josh. What's up, Josh? Good old Josh. Caprice signed in, too. That was Caprice that said hi. Oh, okay. I, yeah. can't, I can't see. Man, I just see the dots popping up, but yeah. I can't see. Yeah, so we ended up going to the pool. So, first of all, I mean, the room, from my perspective, just walking into the room, go there. walking into the room was just amazing because the room, it was the view. When you walk in, the curtains open up. And you see the view. We on a fifty something floor of the uh, of the uh, of the four seasons because the four seasons is sixty floors. We on a fifty something floor. So I mean, the view was the best view I ever seen. Like that, definitely the highest floor of any hotel I ever stayed in in my life by far. By far, ain't even close. So the view, the room was nice, nice and clean. Nice little small room. You know what I'm saying? Was, I got like a regular. Four Seasons room, but a regular Four Seasons room is, you know, it's pricey. Is it? Is it? Is it's nice? Right? It's small but nice. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. TVs in the mirror. Really nice. Really you go in the nice. bathroom. The mirror got a TV in it. You know what I'm saying? All types of stuff. Oh no, nah, that one didn't have it. The no. Boston joint had it. Everyone, that one didn't have it. Everyone that we've stayed at since that one has yeah. had it. Yeah, but it was just nice. But yeah, so we got ourselves together because, like I said, we we checked in around three something. You know, we did all of that. We went to the room. They brought us a, a refrigerator, um, a, a mini fridge. I called it a two-foot-tall refrigerator. I guess you can call it a mini fridge or whatever, you know, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Because so, we had cheesecakes. We brought some cheesecakes up with us. He said, he said where are we at now? Is that what that's where, Yeah, where y'all at now? Yeah, we all, man, we all way out bumble, West Bumblefuck. Whatever. On my back patio porch. We all West Bumblefuck, y'all. We you know on my patio porch. We all West Bumblefuck. <laughs> all the way out Maryland. Uh, the ward off out there. What they call it? Wakanda. We in Wakanda. But, um, so, we local, though. Oh, he might think we out of town or some okay, crazy shit. Know. We ain't in the Aspens. We ain't at Vail or nothing <laughs> like that. We in regular old Maryland. Um. You know, so uh, we went to the pool. The pool was amazing. I walk in. We walk in the joint. As soon as you walk in the pool, she had no idea what the pool was going to look like. She totally surprised. Everything is 
a surprise. So we walked to the pool. I knew what the pool was going to look like because that's why I booked this hotel. I knew what it was going to look like. So we walk in. It's still, even though I knew what it was going to look like, it still shocked me. We walked in. I knew we was in the right place because you had two Asian people off to the side. The Asian couple okay. in a robe. It looked like a commercial. The Asian couple off to the side on a beach chair in a robe. They was, I feel like they was doing some shit over there, too. They was doing some stuff. Because one of them, I feel like... It they looked was, like she was sucking us dick. She, yeah, she was doing some little shit. Yeah, I feel like she was doing some shit. Because did I get your attention? And be like, look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they was open. Either way, it looked like a commercial. They all to the side. It was just them and us. Because it's December. It's December. You know what I'm saying? So, nobody ain't really trying to go. No matter how nice the pool is, you go to a hotel, no matter how nice the pool is, in the wintertime, you ain't thinking about getting in the pool. We are. Mm -hmm. So we pretty much had the pool to ourselves. We go. It's the infinity pool. The infinity pool is on the 52nd floor. 7th. 57th floor. Yeah. So we, the infinity pool, and there's glass windows at the edge of the infinity pool. So you can see outside as you go to the edge of the pool and you see over buildings. On the 57th floor of the uh, Four Seasons, you still probably higher than 99% of all the buildings in Philly. So we in a pool overseeing the city. It was just beautiful. It was really beautiful. And was we were beautiful. there as the sun was setting. So we, we got to see the lights kick on on all the buildings and everything. It was really beautiful. But, you know, we talk more about it on mm. the review video. So after we do some swimming and just playing around and, you know, we... What was hold on, hold on real quick. Hey, Josh. You remember the other though, because he was laughing at the Asian. I was trying to tell her when you in spot certain spot, the Asians got money. Do you? She said she ain't never known. I don't agree with she that. Don't, that she don't. She don't identify Asians with money. Nope. Because I be seeing them in places that does not equate to like the money. Asians being. A, do you agree with her? Because some people, a lot of people was agreeing with me. Like, nah, the Asians got money. If you in a place with a lot of Asians, it's probably a, a spot with money. She like, uh, mm -mm. I never heard of that before. Da, da, da. So that's why when we walked into the pool and I saw the Asians there, I was like, we in the right spot. He say, I know two personally. He said he know two personally. That be in all the rich places? The Asians be having money. I don't know. If I you mean, go, they going to be in places like the Four Seasons, right? Okay. Now, that's, say, that's not something that I've ever heard he of. He say, it's not just... It's not just carry out money. <laughs> it ain't just carry out money either. <laughs> I know it's that it's that laundry mat money too. They got money somehow, some way, but but like you say, so what? We done with the pool? What, yeah, what yeah. You because I mean, okay. we don't have to go into how nice everything is. We did okay. a review. Mm -hmm. So um, after the sun went down and everything, we went back to the room, showered again, got comfortable, was hanging out. Um, he finally admitted to me what happened to the uh, decanter because he was really trying to hold on to it. You wasn't really trying to tell me what happened because you uh, was embarrassed. Oh, I didn't tell you right on the spot? When no, you, when you I out? had to do my investigation, but you uh, didn't really tell me exactly what happened until we got back from the pool. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You, got, you, you, wasn't, you wasn't giving it up. But then we got back and then we started getting ready to, um, to go um, to dinner. And that was really nice. Dinner, uh... Yeah, we dressed up. We definitely yeah. dressed up. It was a nice restaurant. They got a nice restaurant in there. So, you know, That's a restaurant you want to kind of dress. It was Christmas. We dressed yeah. up. We did the whole thing. Yeah, and then we were in the Four Seasons. You look, you look good, too. You look Thank really, you, really, baby. really good. That really was, good. um... That was back when I was still skinny, before he made me fat. <laughs> um, excuse me. And that was, so, and if you look, the video of him doing a little Neo spin, that was when we were heading down to dinner. But um, we went down to dinner. It was real nice. They gave our table away. We went up to dinner. Yeah, we went up because the restaurant was on the sixty floor, floor at the top floor of the Four Seasons. Yeah. It's at the highest floor, so and it's it's mirror, it's glass windows all around the the restaurant. So mm -hmm. when you get up there and go to dinner, you can see the city during the daytime and at night. You see the city lights, mm -hmm. all of that stuff. So it was really nice. Um, we got up in there. We had to wait a little while for our table. So we were sitting at the bar. We ordered a drink. I don't I don't feel like they had the best drinks. But I'm also not a big drinker. So it got to be... 
I can't. I, it, they got to make it in a way that's, that that I don't taste the alcohol for me to enjoy it. Oh, else was running? A little bit. It's cold. It might have been some gone? snow. Oh, yeah. I think it might have been snow because I don't feel like my nose is running. Might have been snow on your face. But um, what? but yeah. So we were sitting at the bar, and then when we finally got our seats, yeah, because it took them a while to sit. They gave us. We had reservations. Away. Yeah, we had reservations, but. They gave our table. Away. Yeah, they yeah the the reservation wasn't on time. We mm -hmm. so we went and sat at the bar. You can go sit at the bar, my I bet. Mm -hmm. Nigga, our table ain't ready. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we I, went and what sat I at the think bar. is, see, what I thought in the moment because Wes had me thinking that they weren't, they weren't, they weren't even expecting to have a lot of people for dinner. That maybe they just didn't have the enough um the amount of seats set up to accommodate the level of people that they did end up having for dinner. So, but maybe that's not the case. I don't know what the case was. I just know our table wasn't ready. It wasn't. They gave our table away. Yeah. But, um, so then we sit down, we place our orders and everything, and this is this table next to us with this couple. Oh, yeah. And they over there arguing. He, he talking to her. Like, he's not, they're not yelling. They was young, too. They was probably in eight. I don't know. I thought they probably would have been around our age. No, I think they was younger than us. My guess, I don't I, know. around our age, to me, I'm thinking they're in their late 20s, early 30s. Well, 30. you older than me, though, so. Yeah, about a little bit. They was probably around my age. But they in the joint, they in the old. Four Seasons restaurant arguing on Christmas. Arguing like I that. couldn't fathom that. He, I can't. That let me know I was in the right relationship. Yeah. In that moment, I was like, uh, uh, I'm definitely in the right relationship today. I know that for sure. <laughs> They weren't yelling, but he was like talking to her like, no, 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 no. And I'm just sitting over the table. I'm all up in their little business, being nosy as shit. Just like, like what the fuck? They just here and they're talking to her like this. And yeah, because you heard, her. yeah, you heard more than I did. Yeah, because I was like, damn, accusing her all this stuff, and they out here at this nice restaurant on this good Christmas day, and they just. I couldn't understand. I'm sitting there thinking like, what, what y'all got to argue about on Christmas? Y'all in the Four Seasons. On Christmas. And they I'm actually checked no, in what? around the same time that we were checking in. They did, because I seen the car they pulled up. In. Oh, no, I seen the car they mm -hmm. left in. No, no, no. We, they, they were moon. checking in. They were checking in around the same time. They they, they checked in and checked out the around same, same time. time. We, yeah, so. yeah, they pulled up in this nice little Mustang, mm -hmm. man. They pulled up in this nice Mustang. I was sitting there looking at them like, we need to be pulling up with some shit like that up in this joint. But nonetheless, I'm sitting there thinking, what the fuck are y'all arguing about? Y'all in the Four Seasons on Christmas. Arguing? What the fuck y'all arguing about? Nigga, y'all living the life. <laughs> I know. I don't remember. They might have been brought up a little different. I'm sitting there I thinking, don't know. ain't nothing gonna fuck up my boo on the. We in the four seasons. If we was having Christmas, some issues with Infinity Pool, this year was like luxury. Sixty, we sixty stories in the sky, eating dinner. Man, what? If, Man, you can. If we have issues, you couldn't have pissed me off if you tried. We put the issues on hold when we on vacation. Yeah, we never had issues on vacation. Never yeah, had issues like, on vacation because we ain't spend all this money. And that's the thing. Our trip. We were like, that's the thing. People have people fight on vacation. I have. People fight on vacation. I've had terrible vacations because you know getting in altercations with people. So. You know, I'm very gracious and yeah. thankful that we never we go on a lot of trips. We never it. have no disagreement. It just be fun and happiness every time. And I, and I definitely appreciate it more because I'm more, I realized that that ain't a guarantee. People be fighting. Or I heard personal stories. I told you, people I know go on vacation and they fighting. Yeah. They talking about they had, it was shitty because they had an argument with their spouse or da da da. We never had. We be in go mode, great time. Like kids on vacation, so them motherfuckers arguing. I just was like, "What the fuck, y'all got to argue? nigga? Do y'all know where y'all at? What y'all doing on Christmas? You know how many people were killed in me in y'all position?" I don't know. So we sitting there and we start talking about that, like that that whole situation, because he wasn't. He was busy taking pictures of food and going to the bathroom and everything. So I'm sitting at the table being nosy as shit, like. Mm. That's where I went I to the bathroom. I, yeah. I wish I could remember what it was. I know he was accusing her of something. I don't remember what it was, though. But I just remember thinking to myself, man, that would just, I would hate that. I would hate that so much. And I'm just thankful that, you know, we go on our trips and that's not that's not a story that we have. No, we don't have that story. Yeah. No. So, you know, we enjoy dinner. I, I don't remember what I had. I know my dessert was a pear. <laughs> And I was just very surprised that we were at this luxurious restaurant up in the sky 
we got all this little special food and then my dessert was a pear it wasn't cooked it wasn't anything special going on i think it was sitting on um it was sitting on like some whipped cream or something to keep it standing straight up and that was it that was it they ain't even I don't, no even, sugar I, don't on. I don't remember what you had. I ain't it was a lot. pear. I remember that because <laughs> I really, because I know, I don't remember anything else I had, but I know when I got that pear, I was really in my mind thinking to myself, it ain't going to just be a regular pear. Right. It's going to be something. It's going to be cooked. Maybe it's going to like break open and have like ice cream in it. I don't know what I was thinking. It's going to have like a glaze over it, something. It had nothing. It was just a pear. It was a very nice looking pair. Just sitting straight up on the on the plate. It wasn't even soft enough for me to cut with a knife. Mm. I'm sitting here looking around like, am I just supposed to bite into it like an animal? <laughs> I did, but you know, I just, I just, uh, you know. But anyway, so then we left and we went back up to our room. But the food obviously wasn't. The food wasn't the greatest. It wasn't beautiful ambiance. It was a nice experience but the food itself wasn't the greatest i had like some type of steak or something I don't know. it might have been a filet mignon so it was small it wasn't super flavorful none of that it but, wasn't but it was all right but that i think i got scallops and i feel like i got scallops and they weren't cooked the way i like them to be cooked but that being said it was a small menu they had a prefix menu because it was christmas so who knows what their regular menu was like. We haven't tried their regular dinner menu. It's probably better. Better than what we experienced. But what we experienced, it was bad. Um, yeah, it was bad. So, but then we go back up to the room. We talked about going back to the pool because the pool stayed open late. It did? Yeah, the pool stayed open late. You know, I was just like, yeah, we can go back to the pool. Have some adult activities. But we ain't never make it. We was tired. We was tired, so we got back to the room. We started, like, getting comfortable. We turned on the TV, and you remember those old commercials that used to come on back in the day where it would show um, the CDs. It would be, like, R&B Gold, you know, order this CD now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a whole bunch of commercials like that coming on. And I remember I was trying to... Um, type the names of the songs down on my phone because some of those songs, I was like, oh, I forgot about this song. I need to put this on my playlist. Um, so I was trying to save them in my phone. And then, you know, we fell asleep and woke up in the middle of the night and ordered some room service. Yeah, we woke up at, what was the time? It was it? Four. four. We woke up at three, four in the morning. Four in the morning. Mm -hmm. Hungry. And I think we was hungry because the, the restaurant it wasn't all that Yeah, the first one wasn't that great. The food wasn't that great. And the portions wasn't that big either. So we woke up hungry. Now let's do room service. Why not? We bought it. We we experienced we're gonna experience this whole hotel. We call some, room we call room service. We call room service, got some chicken wings. Those chicken wings were so delicious. So delicious. Up in the middle of the night. I think we got some fries too. I don't remember that. But I, I remember those chicken wings. Is that what we got the uh it might have been like what you call it um damn what's the fry that cheese not cheese but uh truffle truffle oh yeah the truffle um fries was it there or somewhere else it might have been there it might have been there i mean it is the four seasons i think it was the truffle i think we had like truffle cheese truffle butter on the cheese something like <laughs> not that not truffle butter truffle something but, but um, i don't know what the fuck it's just like I don't know what it's called. It's just like truffle so it oil. It was truffle something truffle on the cheese. Oil. Truffle they oil. They fry it in cheese. like truffle oil. On, on, on the fries. It was good. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. It was, shit was good. It was but it good. Was, Yeah, it was good. Because um, I don't know if we got uh, room service in Boston. I don't know. No, because we still had that food left over from Teresa's. We did. Yeah. And they brought us that microwave. They brought us a microwave? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, um, and we woke up in the middle of the night there, too. Okay. But um We always wake up in the middle of the night. Yeah. I know I do. <clears throat> but um it was cool. You know, we sat up eating chicken. We was up for the rest of the night. So then we ate that chicken and then around seven, eight o'clock we was like, Man, first we were talking about going to the pool at six o'clock in the morning. But I didn't feel like it because it was too early and I was just comfortable. So at some point we ended up ordering a room service and got some breakfast. And that was really nice. That was real we, nice. Sitting up, they we came had a in. Yeah, 
and they set it up for us. They, they put the, the um, linen on the table and just set our food up for us in a room and had us sitting right next to the window so we can look over the city. And it was snowing. It Well, it wasn't snowing, but there was snow everywhere. You know, so it was just the view from the up view, top. Man. Was, the view set the whole nice. thing off. That view, we 52. At I least. think it was like 54. That's 54 four, floors in the air. So you just wake up, no matter what your room like, look like up in there. First of all, it's four seasons, so every room going to look nice. But you wake up and you open them curtains or you look out them curtains if they already open. Mm -hmm. It's just like. It's a sight. Yeah. It's a sight. It just make you feel. It just it make you feel. You feel like you living in luxury. You saying in luxury. It just feel good as shit. So let's roll back a little bit. When we were headed down to dinner, as we were walking down the hallway, these two black guys were walking in the opposite direction up the hallway, and one of them, their door wasn't closed all the way. So I was like, oh, you know, I, that, as we're walking past, I saw what door that came out of. So when we passed it, their door wasn't closed. And I said, excuse me, your door, your door is left open. They're like, oh, don't worry about it. We just walking out here. We'll be back. No big thing. Right. So then the next day after we have breakfast, we get dressed because we're going to walk around the main streets of Philly. You know what? This might have been when we went down to know we went back to the pool to take the picture. I took the pictures in regular clothes by the pool. Yeah, but I don't. I think you don't think is, that was. I think this. I think this is when we because we didn't do that until right when we were getting ready to check out. Okay. I okay. think this is when we were getting ready to um go out and walk around. Okay. So. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So as we're leaving um the hotel to go walk around, we get on the elevator, and it's a guy. This man that's on the elevator, you know, like I'm trying to be nice. He black. We black. You know what I'm saying? We're in an establishment where... When you're in a place than... like that and you with other black people, you kind of give head nods and like, nigga, we made it. Yeah. Nigga, we made it. You know what I'm saying? You know, so um, we're on the elevator and we say hello and everything like that. He's like, oh, man, you know, where y'all from? Da -da 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 -da. And then Wes is like, D.C. I always just go along and say D.C. because where I'm from, it just takes too much. <coughs> Excuse me. So he's like, oh, yeah, my son, he down there playing now. Maybe y'all know him. He played for Philly. He's the player whose house just burned down. I don't know what he's talking about. So I'm looking at Wes, expecting him to know. And Wes is like, no, no, I don't know who you're talking about. He's like, Maxi. And then, did you know who he was talking about when he mentioned that his son was Maxi, or did you fake knowing? No, nah, when he said Maxi, because it used to be a player in the NBA named Maxi, but he's a little, a little older. Mm -hmm. So when he said Maxi, I was thinking him. I didn't know, I ain't know who, did, the Maxi we come to know who, the, his son, mm -hmm. I ain't know nothing about him. Let me see, the Kelsey's have a documentary or Palm Prime, check it out. Can like the sports one, for sure, for sure, for sure. For but, sure. um, Man, so, go. excuse me. So, you know, he's talking to us, he's like, yeah, my son, he's, he's down in D.C. right now. He's the player whose house burned down. So I'm like, I don't know. I don't know who you're talking about. Because he said that's why they were staying there. Yeah, him was, and his entire family. His family was staying in the Four Seasons. Multiple because, rooms. Because his house burned down. So, mm. Let mm. me tell you, that was, a, that was a long conversation on his own because I kept telling Wes, I was like, man, let me tell you something. If I was him and my house burned down, probably because of them, I'd be like, listen, man, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm staying at the Four Seasons. Y'all got to go stay at Grandma house. But we don't know if it burned down because of them. I'm saying it probably burned down because oh, of Oh, probably. That's a good point. Because, he, probably. That's a good because point. he's a basketball player. He probably never even really home mm -hmm. to be cooking and doing whatever it is that might have happened that burned the house down, whatever. That's a good point. So I'm sitting here. I'm just like, man. And then first off, everybody ain't going to be in no Four Seasons on my dime. I would have been like, I, we was, and this is just something we was talking about. And I was like, man, the first thing I would have had, I was like, all right, y'all, that you can stay in the Four Seasons with mom. The rest of y'all got to go stay at grandma house back in, where is he from, Texas? Dallas, yep, yep. Dallas. I would have been like, the rest of y'all got to go back out to Texas and stay with grandma. I'll pay for y'all plane tickets. Y'all go back out with grandma. <laughs> y'all not staying in the Four Seasons. We not doing that. But he had everybody. That's why when we checked in, we saw all those people. 
You know what I'm saying? Because it was a lot of black people. A lot of them. You know, they just regular old, normal looking black people. They not walk around looking like they got money. Nothing like that. Again, I told you, a couple of them had bonnets on their head. All types of stuff. So, <laughs> you know, they just looking like they just, you know, living a normal day in the life. And it's they there because, you know, his house burned down. They All, all their asses would have been back in uh, Dallas. He ain't even he ain't even staying in the Four Seasons because he's down in D.C. He down, he playing, he... Yeah, it was it was it was kind of ironic that we up in Philly, we run into his family, his family up in the four seasons with us, but he in D.C. playing against the Wizards. Hey. I ended up doing research on him because I ain't know who Maxi was at the time. I ain't really know. Did research search on him and come to find out the nigga good. He, I'm thinking he probably somebody on the bench that don't really get in. If he ain't the dude that I thought about, because I will say the dude that I thought about named Maxi, he was a little older. I'm like, is he still in the league? Like, like if he was in the league, it would have made sense, but it would have been like he probably on his last leg. Mm -hmm. The Maxi I thought, because I know I know of a Maxi. So when I found out it was a new Maxi, like he was a rookie or something, yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, he a rookie. Like I'm thinking he probably a rookie that barely get in the game, because you know the Wizards, every rookie we get, they never pan out. So I'm thinking... Gonna find out. The he's nigga's a, there balling. He's a baller. He's a damn near starter yep. at that time. He ain't what he is now. Damn near all NBA type of player. But at that time he he was getting he was getting minutes and buckets as a rookie at that in twenty twenty one. I know, and it's just three years later. Yeah, so So yeah. He's a... so it was cool. It was cool me and his dad. He get off the elevator, we get off the elevator, go our separate ways. We started walking around Philly. It was kind of nice up there too. It was kind of cold, but it wasn't. It wasn't as warm as it was down by us because there was like a little bit of snow on the ground. I feel like, but it was still. Was there snow? I don't really remember snow. Maybe not snow. Maybe no snow. snow. For some reason, I keep thinking it was snow up there, but maybe not because we didn't have any coats. We didn't have any coats. We were no. walking around in just some hoodies. Yeah. So. You know, but we walked around and it was cool. We saw, you know, that the part of Philly that we were in was much <laughs> left a lot to be desired. Um, because it, it wasn't really too much going on. We just walked around, we saw a couple of little historic signs and everything like that placed around us. Do you remember any, any of what we saw out there? There was uh, a museum, the museum had a Harry yeah, Potter. It a, yeah, it was a museum, exhibit. and it, yeah, but Philly, man, Philly, Philly. Yeah. They need work. Philly need work. Philly like Baltimore. They need work. Yeah. It's historical, so they should treat it better because of the history there. One of the most historical cities in this country, but it needs, nonetheless, it needs work, so. Fast as we was out there, the faster I was trying to get the fuck back in the hotel. <laughs> I'm like, why the fuck is we out here? I, well, you know, I love history, so I'm willing. But after a while, we walking around. I'm looking at the historical signs. I'm looking at thinking, why the fuck are we out here? Let's go back to our mansion in the sky. Yeah. We in the sky. We don't need to be down here. And that's exactly what we did. Um, <laughs> we walked around and we finished up and. You know, walked down Skid Row, and then was like, all right, we done with this. And then went back into the hotel. Mm -hmm. And then that's when we went and started taking the pictures. Yeah, okay. Took the picture. Yeah, before, I wanted, before we left, I wanted to take some pictures by the pool. And, you know, in regular clothes. Um, it was just a beautiful experience, man. I'm glad. And I was, all in all, we pretty much concluding. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much all, all in all. Like I say, I booked the hotel room because I booked it for her because I felt like, you know, she was just so nice and cool and I wanted to do something special for her because, like I say, she took me to Pittsburgh where she, you know, she from up that area. She took me up there to show me around and she wanted to go to the pool. She was like, let's book a hotel. I'm going to book a hotel with a pool, a pool, pool. All she kept talking about was that pool as we was going, preparing to go up to Pittsburgh to this hotel. We never got in the pool. But we did everything I did. But ultimately, I wanted to, you know, surprise her because she was so cool about it. That's why I did the Four Seasons thing. I found her a pool because she's so great. Did a time ticket. She was so great and she was so nice about it. So 
I want to surprise her because I love her so much. Because I love her so much and you know, that's our Four Seasons trip, y'all.